Kabinik Primary School would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land which we are gathered. And we pay our respects to the elders both past and present. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to this week's Cranbourne East Primary School Weekly Online Assembly. Well, my first message this week is a message to parents and that is if you've got children uh, who will be starting school next year uh, in our year prep, our foundation year, uh, if you haven't contacted the school, could I ask you to give us a call as soon as possible please and we'll arrange for uh, an enrolment pack to be sent to you. And also uh, if you have any uh, neighbours or family friends uh, that have uh, children who will be commencing at this school in um, prep foundation for next year. Um, yeah, if they haven't enrolled, if you could just ask them to once again give us a call at the school. Well, my next message is uh, once again to recognise uh, just a wonderful thing one of our families did during the week, and that is uh, provided a lovely hamper uh, to Tan at our office for all her work that she has done during the year. Uh, in supporting that family. So yeah, just a wonderful, wonderful thought and I just wanted to say a really big thank you. Um, well, next Thursday is Are You OK Day? And it's a day that we need to make someone's day a very special day. And that is a simple thing like a phone call, a um, video call, maybe FaceTime call, uh, just to check in just to see how people are going. It could be family, friends, neighbours, some of you haven't been in contact for a while. And um, children, if you're going to participate in Are You OK Day, um, yeah, you might want to just ask mum and dad if that's OK before you make the call. And uh, you'll probably see a lot of people wearing a splash of yellow on the day, and I'd like to encourage you to join in as well just to uh, take part in Are You OK Day. You don't need to be an expert. Um, you just need to be able to reach out to other people and, um, yeah, don't forget to wear that splash of yellow. I'll have to go home and search the cupboard. Um, and finally this week, look, once again, I want to say a really big thank you. Thank you to all our students for the energy, the effort, and especially the work that you're doing during remote and flexible learning. We know it's not easy. It hasn't been easy, but just do what you can do. And if you're not sure, please give your home group teacher or someone that you know a call, a shout out, and you know we'll, there's always someone there to help you. So um, yeah, please, please do that. Um, big thank you to parents. Um, once again, I experienced firsthand what it's like to uh, homeschool a, a young child. And um, again, it can be very, very tricky trying to juggling everything that's going on around us. So a really, really big thank you to all our parents and finally, a really big thank you to all our staff at all levels of the school. You know, you're doing an amazing job and hopefully, uh, you know, we'll have restrictions lifted very, very soon to give, a, I say, a bit more flexibility and uh, hoping all goes well that we can see students return back to school soon. Well, stay safe, take care, get plenty of fresh air, read a book, have fun and, yeah, I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye now. Thanks, everyone. Are You OK Day is Thursday, September 10. And this year, the message is, 
There's more to say after, are you okay? What do you do if you ask someone, are you okay? And they say no. Any ideas? Anything? Hello? There's more to say after, are you okay? Take time to listen. Encourage them to take action or find support. And remember to check in regularly to see how they're doing. Use the resources from ruok.org.au to learn how to keep the conversation going and share the message in your community. Because a conversation could change a life. Well, it's that time of the week again, time to get kind and giggly. All right, we all know how important it is to spread kindness to others, but it's just as important to be kind to ourselves. So this week's challenge for you is every single night of this week, before you go to bed, think of three things that you're grateful for. You might wanna just keep those to yourself, or you might wanna share them with somebody else. But see if you can think of three things every day that you're grateful for in your life. All right, now winter is gone. We have said goodbye to winter and hello to spring. So I've got a little bit of a winter joke for you today to get giggly. What do you call an old snowman? Water. I hope you liked that one. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Bye.
Staying at home doesn't mean you can't spend time with friends and family. It's about keeping your distance, not being socially isolated. You might host a movie night with Netflix party, or a virtual games night if you're feeling competitive. You can even video call a friend to share a virtual workout and keep active. And if you're worried or feeling blue, Kids Helpline is there for you. Anytime, any reason. Call 1-800-55-1800 or web chat at kidshelpline.com.au. Thank you.